Hello and welcome back to another cup noodle review. Um, do give me a moment. Uh, I'm not quite sure what number this is. Uh, as of the release of the previous video, you should already know I'm going to be changing the titles of all the OVAs. So that's different. Um, today I'm reviewing, I'll tell you now, Mike's Mighty Good Spicy Beef Pho. This is what my mom got me also from Whole Foods. I found the same brand in Safeway. Uh, I found a few good brands in Safeway. I think they're good. I don't know. I haven't tasted them. Now these concern me. Um, they're not the best quick food. Um, and yeah, when we get to cup noodles, we could talk about like how good of a cup noodle really is it? How how easy is it to make? Does it just require boiling water? Can you do it in the microwave? Blah, yada, yada, yada. But, um, you know I don't really grade on that stuff. I appreciate, for example, if like the packaging is cool and stuff, it has nice pictures, which doesn't always guarantee anything, but you know, it's just good marketing. Um, makes it useful and stuff. But, I know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Because uh, here we're all about flavor. But, you know, I guess I would drop any tunes by like 0.2% in that case. By a rating of 0.2. Just because, you know, any chuns has good... Give you stuff in boxes, it's really neat. Um... So, as I was saying, yeah, they, I don't grade on that, but if I was, these would be downgraded a bit, just because it takes six minutes for these to steep. That is, as you imagine, quite longer than the usual three minutes. A few have gone into the four-minute territory. I've had just a couple go into five. But never six minutes. Although... I recently reviewed one, and you guys know this, um, where they just said until noodles are soft, which honestly is the best system you can give someone. They won't know how long it'll take, but if you're watching your noodles like I am, it also guarantees that the noodles will be perfect. These noodles are also a bit backward because uh, you have to put in all the seasoning at the end. Which I can understand if that's the case with oil. Uh, oil can contain some essential oils, and by essential oils I don't mean the stuff that people use to, in, in cooperation with healing crystals to uh, achieve certain health benefits. I mean essential oils as in... the lipid-based components within certain plants that give them distinct flavors. For example, there's a reason you can't heat truffle oil. The chemicals will break down. It's not made from truffles, by the way. Chemicals will break down and you'll just get disgustingness. Same is true of olive oil. If you heat extra virgin olive oil too much, it'll just not taste good. It'll be like regular oil. Um, these noodles are sticking together a bit. Uh, so I'll give it just like another minute while I talk to you. Um, but yeah, th this noodle's a little different. Uh, a little weird, you know, this doesn't disqualify it or anything. It still tastes good. It smells okay. Um, but I I'm going to jump into it. It'll probably soften up a little Soften up as I go. You can just start with the broth. <clears throat> For a second there, I was going to say it might need a little bit of salt. 
maybe just like a tiny bit would help but all in all pretty good um once you get more of it you, you can taste more obviously um what this one does it has a real strong kick uh, with the flavor of chilies and i don't just mean like heat because we've had heat before this one actually brings forth like a fruity peppery flavor uh, so that's nice i would say that's like the main flavor component There's some herbal notes, some spice spices in here, you can tell. Um, I won't identify any specifically because I might be wrong, but I, I can feel some of those Asian spices, and maybe maybe se Szechuan pepper, some star anise, star anise, whatever. Um, stuff like that, maybe a tiny bit of cinnamon. I'll check because I don't want to feel dumb. That's chicken broth. Yeah, it's the spices. All in all, pretty good broth, you know? Definitely something that can hit the 7 range. The noodles are definitely strong. They actually remind me of when I made uh, homemade pasta recently. In that... They've got a certain density to them. So I feel like this will actually be quite filling, which... Honestly, this cup did seem a little small. But I feel like the density of the noodles... Because you, you can feel like that very well-developed gluten in there. It's really going to help it uh, fill you up. Um, they are still a little tough though, and I, the long steeping time is a big downside of these. So you should be aware. All in all, I really enjoy it. It's got uh, really nice aromatics and the flavor of the peppers comes through quite nicely. You can taste the chicken broth as well. But it's like, I'd say it's a pretty perfect balance. Nothing is perfect, of course. But it's pretty close between the chicken and the... Uh, chilies. Yesterday I ate the uh, Tapatio ramen. Um, and that one, I'd say, was pretty close as well. Just the fact that, like, it's a good balance. But here the chilies are a little more pronounced. And the chicken's a little more muted. So some, uh, definitely some similarities between those. I actually enjoyed the noodles on both. Um, I rated that one a 7, I think. Um, which, honestly, it deserved. Uh, this one has a slightly lower steeping time. I'd actually rate this one a 7, too. I think they're both about equal in terms of how good they are um so thank you i've enjoyed your company and uh, it's getting a little warm as you know i turn off my ac uh for maximum sound quality i'm going to turn the car back on and i hope you have a good time uh i have enjoyed your company and i wish you great noodles